Friends, today I'm here to do a review of the two volumes of The Graveyard Book, graphic novel interpretations of Neil Gaiman's book, The Graveyard Book. Um, so these were adapted by Craig P. Russell, and the story is quite an interesting and original one. If you haven't heard of it, I will describe it presently. And so it's about this young boy whose family gets brutally murdered in the middle of the night, and he escapes and finds refuge in this graveyard. And the mother's ghost comes to the ghost in the graveyard and says, protect my child, protect my child. So all the ghosts in the graveyard come together to protect and raise this kid, and he grows up in a graveyard um, with all these dead ghosts all around him. So that is a very interesting concept for a story. I'm s I was quite pleased with it. Um, and these graphic novels are quite interesting as well because they're um, done in sort of a collaboration technique rather than just having one illustrator. There's an illustrator for every chapter. Um, so you get slightly different takes on the story depending on which chapter you're in. So here's something from the first chapter. You can see it's quite nicely drawn. And then here's something from, this is the third chapter. I don't know if you can tell, but it's fairly different. Um, but they use the same color palette and the same general sort of style. So you don't lose the flow of the story throughout the different chapters, which is really, really, I think is really clever and really well done. Um, the first no volume I found was a little bit more of a slog. I think that's just because it's the story starts off slow. That's, that's the only way to put it. Um, Bod is growing up and um, just learning what it is to live in the graveyard and with the ghosts and be sort of an undocumented child <laughs> in the world. And um, things don't really start to get serious plot-wise until the second volume, or I guess it would be the latter half of the book. So um, the, th the first one took me quite a while to get through. I was reading it for a couple of nights, just a chapter here and there. Um, I think the chapters are too long too. That would be one quibble that I would have. The chapters were too long, so it was really intimidating. Like if you just sit down and you're like, oh, I'll just read a chapter tonight. And the chapters are like these gigantic chunks of book. Um, you can't get through them. But the second volume, this one, was a lot more riveting because um, the plot really picks up and things start to speed along right away. I just breezed through this. I even woke up early this morning to finish it because I was like a, at 6.30, I was like, I want to read my book. So I woke up at 6.30 to read it. Um, so the first one I'd give a three out of five stars because I thought it was really well executed and cleverly done and the illustrations were like on point, um, but it was a little bit less riveting than the second one. And the second one I'd give four, and a, four or four and a half stars to because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend these books, and I definitely plan on reading more of Neil Gaiman stuff. I've got this, I'll show you again, this awesome box set of Chris Riddell illustrated um, Neil Gaiman books. So I'm getting to that very, very soon. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, or plan to, or are intrigued by them. Um, that's all for now. Bye guys. Thank you.